When it comes to weight loss, there has been a study that showed drinking cold water can actually help. Hi, I'm Simone, certified in-home and virtual personal trainer. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about cold water versus hot water versus room temperature. Does it really matter? The corresponding blog post of this video will be in the description box below as well as references to these topics. So we're going to talk about it. Everybody has a preference, right? I personally like room temperature water, um, but cold water is great too and very refreshing. So which one is healthier? Let's start with cold water. Ever since I was young, my mom told me, don't drink cold water, it's bad for you, it's really bad for you. That was just ingrained in my head, but I still drank it because I did not care. But now, I actually prefer room temperature, uh, just cause. I don't mind drinking cold water here and there, but room temperature is just a little bit more comfortable for me to drink because maybe it's my sensitive teeth, or just because it makes me feel colder if I'm already cold, so I don't want that. But cold water actually makes you drink a little bit more, makes you want to drink more water compared to room temperature or hot water. So that's an interesting thing to know. But the thing with cold water is it's actually a vasoconstrictor, meaning that it's going to cause your blood vessels to constrict and close, and that causes, in turn, your blood pressure to go up. Because even cold water, it actually is a vasoconstrictor, so it's going to constrict your veins, make them really tight so that the blood has to work harder to get through them, okay? So what that does is increase your blood pressure compared to warm water that actually, you know, opens up your veins. So it's a vasodilator and that also has other benefits, but we'll talk about warm water later. So back to cold water. Cold water increases your blood pressure. Even in young, healthy people, it can do that. Um, and if you have an underlying, you know, condition, Maybe it's something to keep in mind. I don't want to say that it will cause you to die or you know cause further complications necessarily, but it definitely can depending on what it is that you're dealing with. If you suffer from achalasia, not sure if I'm saying that right, I'm going to link it over here, then drinking cold water is definitely not recommended actually because you already suffer from having you know, issues with your esophagus and that's what that condition is. So drinking cold water is going to constrict that area, the blood vessels over here, and that just makes it harder for you to swallow and digest the food that you already struggle with. So it's just adding to an existing problem. So it's definitely recommended in that case to not drink cold water. And it's also not recommended to drink cold water when you're sick because obviously you want the blood vessels to be open, the blood to be moving smoothly and easily through your system to help you know rid the body of its toxins and to drink cold beverages, cold water during that time could just not really be that helpful and we'll get into the benefits of warm water and go more into how that can be a great thing. That's why it's often, you know, said, you know, have tea when you're sick because it does help better than drinking cold water. When it comes to weight loss, there has been a study that showed drinking cold water can actually help, but that study was conducted with um, or that study had other things involved to help with the weight loss. So it's not necessarily, from my perspective, the cold water that might have done it, but a combination of the treatment or the other materials that were utilized in that study. What the study highlighted was that drinking cold water when you're in an already cold environment caused the participants to have an increase in oxygen intake and therefore energy expenditure. And that causes shift in fuel utilization over to fat as the source of energy. So basically that study showed drinking cold water when you're in a cold environment environment can cause the body to use fat storages for energy expenditure instead of you know other forms. And that will help with weight loss, but more studies need to be done. Would I say that drinking cold water will give you weight loss? Not necessarily. Room temperature water, that's the happy medium. That's where I am. The thing with room temperature water is it may actually make you feel less thirsty compared to drinking cold water. Furthermore, you can consume room temperature water alongside other foods with no issues. So let's say you're having a soup and you're feeling thirsty, you can drink room temperature water. If you drink hot water, it can make you, you know, a lot warmer. And then if you drink cold water when you're having that soup, it could be really conflicting. You're eating something warm and then drinking something cold. 
um, which I wouldn't really recommend. You could do it, but I'm sure the body is not a fan of that. But you know, maybe there's other studies that have looked into that. Now let's talk about warm water, hot water. This is actually best for the body if we're comparing it to the other types of water. The only thing with this is like room temperature water, it actually makes you feel less thirsty and even more so. So what you need to do is make sure that you're drinking enough water as a result and maybe getting a little extra in if all you're consuming is warm or hot water throughout the day. Especially if you're having tea, often teas can be a diuretic if it's not caffeine free um, and diuretic meaning that it will actually make you more dehydrated so make sure that you are consuming water alongside that. Another way to know if you're hydrated when you're drinking warm water or you know room temperature water or even cold water and you may not be getting in enough water for the day is to check your urine here is the urine chart and as if your urine is a light color light yellow or even clear then you're good you're nice and hydrated but it, the darker it gets the more dehydrated you are most of the time now this isn't the only indicator of how hydrated you are and the eight glasses of water a day does not apply to everyone and it's not something I recommend necessarily um, but it's certainly not bad if you want to try to reach a goal for your water intake for the day but this is a great way to see if you're on the right track so because warm water has the most benefits I'm gonna list them so it helps with circulation because like I said it's a vasodilator so it's gonna make the blood vessels go through a lot easier and therefore that helps to flush out toxins from the body and it helps with digestion which is why it's great to have when you're not feeling well or when you're sick and it helps with circulation throughout the body as well and it's great for those who suffer from achalasia the word I'm struggling to say suffer from this because instead of the cold water that is constricting those blood vessels, it allows them to open up, which makes it easier for you to consume food. So if you have this issue, definitely consider adding warm or hot water into your daily intake rather than cold water. So, so in conclusion, at the end of the day, drinking water, whether it's cold, room temperature, or hot, is good for you. You should be drinking water every day, as often as you can, because that's what the body is made out of, and that's what the body needs. And it's going to make a huge difference in terms of your skin, hair, and just the way your organs function. We need water in our lives. So what I conclude is that warm to room temperature water is better but have cold water when you want to have that refreshing feeling and maybe have it more so um, once or twice a day instead of every time you drink water try to mix it up maybe um, but still you know shift towards that warm or room temperature water because it is a little bit better for the body but at the end of the day if you just love having your cold water then you do you boo do not worry about it. As long as you're getting that water in, that's what matters. And just understand how your body feels. Does it like it? Does it not like it? Does it prefer a different temperature? You know your body better than anybody else does. So that concludes our topic about which water is better for you. And let me know in the comments below what water do you prefer. And like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos over here. And look at the corresponding blog post as well as the references below for more information. And thanks so much for watching. Remember, begin your fitness and health journey today because nothing's in your way.